Hey, hey, Nick, just kind of give us your, your general summation of just how you felt managing the huddle and how the offense clicked today. Uh, felt really good. Uh, felt really confident in my preparation. And uh, you, Coach Shanahan talks about the buildup. You know, Wednesday you get the game plan, Thursday, third downs, and uh, it all builds up to Sunday. And uh, by Sunday, uh, you're just confident as can be and uh, just approached it, relaxed mindset. Um, ready to go out and execute, and um, thought we did a really good job as an offense and um, as of a team. Nick, you, you guys did not punt today, didn't have any turnovers, a lot of really long drives. You had the ball for a long time. Uh, what are the keys to just making drives like that uh, continue to sustain when you have to piece it together the way you did without a bunch of big plays? Yeah, I think the biggest thing, uh, just stay ahead of the change and convert on third downs. I think early in the first half, uh, we were moving the ball pretty good, uh, but we kind of got some second long situations and uh, had to overcome a lot of stuff to keep it going. And uh, in the second half, uh, those field goals turned to touchdowns, um, which was huge. And uh, so just to create that rhythm and um, just a lot of team football going on today out there. All 11 guys uh, just working together as a unit. Nick, uh, Coach Shanahan said that uh that you don't hesitate out there. When you see it, you let it rip. Um, can you explain that mentality and the urgency to take advantage of opportunities? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of what you have to live by. That kind of goes back to the whole preparation uh, leads up to the game. And then once Sunday hits, uh, you play with a clear mind. Uh, you see it and react. Um, not the fastest, most, most athletic guy, uh, but I think I can react pretty quick. And uh, that's what I think I do pretty well at. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Nick, obviously you guys are, are missing some of your top pass catchers. Well, where does the confidence come from in guys like, I mean, Ayuk doing it for the first time today, Ross Dwelly, um, Jarek McKinnon, just given that they, they don't have that body of work recently? Yeah, I mean, we have really good football players, and we are very well, well, well aware of that. Um, Ayuk coming in, you know, he uh, really stepped it up in the second half. Uh, and did a great job. I think he had 100 all-purpose. Uh, Dwelly, uh, the most consistent guy in the building, or one of them, you know, since he's been here, and uh, just proved it every single time he's got the chance. Uh, continues to do that today. And Jet, the same way, man. Just uh, we got 53 guys who are ready to work and do their job and uh, step up when their number is called. And uh, I think that's what we did today. Nick, Kyle was talking about, uh, you know, Monday, Tuesday, um, uh, a lot of people were, you know, players or, or whatever, was just the vibe wasn't great just because of all the injuries. But he thought, you know, just the week of practice was so good that he really wasn't surprised by this outcome today. Did you kind of get a, a similar sense of how the emotional ups and downs of the week? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, I think we all know how we felt uh, after that Jets win. Um, I really... I mean, I played, but I, I really didn't didn't feel any sorts of excitement that I got out there on the field. I knew I could do better, and then obviously with the injuries, it just the feeling that it does to a franchise. Uh, we're well aware of that, and uh, but that's the painful part about the NFL is you just got to keep going. Uh, stuff happens during a long 17, 18 week season, and uh, so that's kind of what we we had to roll with it. And uh, so I thought the guys did a great job stepping up throughout the week, uh, the preparation. Uh, so much info goes in, and uh, you just grind it out, and then Sunday comes, and uh, you just, like like those guys said, just let it rip. And uh, we did a great job of that today. Nick, uh, what kind of off-season work did you put in on your pylon reconstruction game, and uh, why why is that something that's so important to you? <laughs> it's not. It's, uh, I mean, y'all can y'all can take that joke and do what you want with it. Uh, but I was told, told people last week, I think I told you all earlier in the week, uh, I was just kind of messing around the first time, and then uh, today an old lineman grabbed it and was like, "Hey, set it up." I was like, "All right, I guess, I guess I'll keep riding with it." And uh, so yeah, it was fun. Uh, it's just fun to play with your teammates. Uh, guys have the right mindset, you know, attack, 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 and then uh, have fun when you score. And uh, so that's why I love this team, and uh, yeah, this whole team. A couple more for Nick. Nick, I think you uh, threw to Jordan Reed uh, five times early in the game. How big a part of the game plan was he you know, entering the contest? Yeah, uh, pretty big, pretty big. But uh, I think all of, I mean, we're well aware of the weapons that we have uh, with KB and all the other guys and uh, all the route runners that we have. Um, he was a pretty big part. Um, and I thought, I mean, third and 10, 
um, when you need it down there close. Uh, he's such an easy target, so talented. Um, definitely hope he's healthy. Um, he's a great player, and uh, we're really pumped to have him on our team. Nick, Kyle has joked that Jimmy Garoppolo plays a little better after he's been hit in the game a little bit. You took some hits in that game. Is it the same mentality for you? Um, I don't really think about it, to be honest. I just prepare as hard as I can and then go out and uh, play as do the my job as best to my ability as I can. Um, but yeah, it's probably accurate. I'd say it's a fairly generally generally accurate statement for all quarterbacks. Uh, you definitely want to just settle in, uh, get a rhythm going, and uh, that's kind of how it works. Hey, Faith, click here to subscribe.